One of my visitors thanked me for putting up an open shot uh, tutorial and they felt that this was really useful. So what I thought I would do is I'd put up another open shot tutorial and we'll cover a few more techniques that you can use on this episode of Spatry's Cup of Linux. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. The first thing I like to do whenever I'm making a video is to save the project before I even put anything in here. So let's go ahead and save this project as, okay, and I like to give it a nice, uh, a lot of room to work with. So I'm going to tell that I want 30.0 minutes, uh, H high def, 29.97 frames per second, which is the NTSC standard here in the United States. If you are, um, if you are in Europe, you may want to go with the uh, 1080 pixel 25 frames for, per second for the uh, uh, for the PAL standard. Okay, and then we're going to select where we want to save this to, other, and we will navigate to the folder we're, we're working in, and we will save it in the customized folder because I just filmed an episode on customizing the new Ubuntu. 11.10, so we will save it there. Wonderful. Okay, now let's go ahead and import some files into this. We'll go into that customized folder and pressing down the control key and clicking, I can go ahead and multiple select four items and select add. As you can see, they're added nice and neatly for us. Okay, next, we need to have a few other things. I have a title and I have a uh, closing screen that you see on all my videos, so I'll go ahead and import those as well. And I keep those in a separate folder. And we've got my end title and my regular title. Also, if I want to, I can add a theme, and I've got a background uh, for a demonstration that I'm doing here. So we'll go ahead and add those. Wonderful. Okay, now I made a nice little introduction, and so I'm going to just go ahead and throw this on the line before anything even starts. Now, one, one thing I like to do is I like to be able to see my monitor here, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this over. Now. Uh, another thing I'm going to do so that the sound isn't bleeding through, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some headphones here. That way the sound isn't bleeding through while I'm trying to speak. So one moment please while I make that adjustment. Okay, let's uh, play with some effects here and see what we can come up with. First I want to make sure that movie is positioned all the way at the beginning. Okay, very good. Okay, now I have a uh, scene here that I'm going to use from Electric Sheep. Uh, I like that screensaver, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this to the timeline here. And I'm going to have to add this a few times, but first before I do that, I want to, I've got to add it to the timeline. I'm going to go into Properties here, and I'm going to go into the video, and I want this, I want to untick to maintain the aspect ratio because I want this to actually fill the screen. We'll go ahead and apply that. All right, and then we can duplicate this now with our settings intact. One thing I also like to do is I like to zoom in on things a little bit. I want to make sure that everything is uh, lined up nicely. We'll do another duplicate. And yet another duplicate. All right, very good. Now we're going to go ahead and resize this one down to the end of this clip here. Sometimes it helps to move the playhead all the way to the end. And a little zoom in a little bit more so that we can be sure 
but we are right at the end of this thing. Okay, very good. All right. Now on our video here, on the top, we're going to add a effect. Now you can see that I have this red background here. I'm gonna try and key this out. Now you will notice that the color isn't quite perfectly even. So I don't know if keying this out is gonna work, but we can give it a try and see. We'll go into this video's properties, right click on this video, let's take the arrow too. I want to make sure I'm on the right video here. Go into properties, and then we will go into effects. We're going to plus here, and then we're going to select the chroma key. Okay. And then we click on the effect settings. As you can see here, it's going to want to key out the green color. That's not the color we want to key out, obviously. So we'll just go ahead and click the uh, color selection tool. And then what we'll do is we'll click the paintbrush and we will position it over the color we do want to key out. All right, why don't I try and key out maybe this color here? That seems like that would be okay. And then what we'll do is we'll scrub over the video a little bit and as you can see it looks like it has keyed that out pretty well so we're gonna go ahead and go with that so we'll go ahead okay now I've got this pl the playhead where I want to cut this clip. So I've got my uh, cut tool here, or resize tool I should say, and I'm just gonna slide this all the way down to the very, to the line here. Okay, very good. And then let's go ahead and grab another piece here. Let me uh, go ahead and zoom back into one second maybe even three seconds, that's fine. The reason I like to zoom in close is so that I have better control, or more precise control, I should say, over the uh, elements that I'm placing on our timeline here. Okay, and right where that is, it should be sufficient. Let's go into the project files, and let's uh, grab clip number three, throw that in. Okay. And then this one's going to be clipped as well. Now I'm ready to trim my clip down to the playhead once again. Go back into our project files. Let me zoom the resolution on this once again. And then we'll put in track 4. I do like to have a little bit of an overlap there. And this is a one second each represents one second. So essentially what's happening is it's hiding that little flash at the beginning. Okay, and so then now I'm going to let this playhead play this clip here all the way through to the very end that I want to cut. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, I went ahead and I cut the last frame. And now all we need to do is add our end title. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to throw that right here. Let me zoom in a little bit close because I want a little bit of an overlap. And take the arrow tool here to do that. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. 
because I've never done any effects on my end title, so why don't we try that now? Alright, we're going to save this. Because OpenShot does crash once in a while, so anytime you're adding a clip and you've cut it to the place you want, save it, just in case it decides to freeze up. Okay, now we're going to right click on this clip and select properties. We're going to go with effects on this one, and let's see what kind of effects it's going to give us. All right. I wonder if there's an old film effect in here. there is. Okay, so we're going to add that. Let's see how that's going to look. Very cool. I like that. Alright, and then why not add some grains to this too? I know I saw that in the list, so we'll go ahead and throw that in there, too. So we'll put some old grain on there. And you know, you can tweak these, too. Alright, let's see how that looks. I like. Alright, and then one last effect. Usually the default settings are good enough for me. I'm just playing today. All right, so let's get some old lines in here, too. And let's see how that looks. Okay, well, it's just halfway rendering it, but it looks kind of cool. I think we're going to apply that. And then... We're going to save our project, and then we're going to render it. And I, whenever uh, rendering for uh, YouTube or uh, any of the other video sharing sites, even just making for distribution, I uh, always select the YouTube high def, the 29.97 frames per second, and high. And it makes a pretty good uh, video quality size. Okay, and then we're just going to name this one Open Shot. And we will go ahead and export the video. And then you will see this episode online before this one that I'm filming now, I promise you. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And, uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. Don't you hate it when that happens? Okay, well, now that you saw the show, go pick out another episode. And thanks for watching.